We recently got footage from Giyu and Demon Slayer, Hinokami, Capitan. Not gameplay, but more so of footage, like they just showed the character. Seeing the movesets from Tanjiro, Zenetsu, and Inosuke, and so on and so forth, gives us a chance to look at their movesets and capabilities and different moves that they can do within the game. But we only get a glance to look at Ginyu. They only show him for a few seconds, so we don't get a chance to look at all what type of moves that he can do. Which brings me to why i'm making this video what's good youtube it's your boy kuro and this is my ginyu prediction video let's get right into it as far as his special moves go i came up with two like he got one special move and the other special move would be a counter like so for the first special move it's from the episode 20 where he like jumps up in the air and he slashes i feel like this would be one of his special moves and I, it almost like from the footage that we actually already got and that kind of is what that looks like as far as his counter goes i don't know if you guys remember but when you was watching kimetsu no yaba episode one Netsuko tried to hit ginyu like she was like lunging towards him ginyu hit her in the neck you know signifying this like some type of counter like i felt like that'd be a good way to add a counter in his moveset as far as his ultimates go the 11 form would be a nice fit for being his ultimate in the game because by far that's the longest animations that he's gotten on screen in season one like how it comes on the animation is just sick so just imagine you know cc2 animates that really well i feel like his grab will look something like when he was grabbing nezuko and he had a sword in his hand and then like he was literally like holding her and he stabbed her in the heart I, don't, I really don't see him grabbing no other characters in the anime besides when he was grabbing shinobu <laughs> oh my gosh as far as his downwards combo goes we can literally take this exactly from the anime it's it's the part when he was like running towards Tanjiro trying to save him from Nezuko and he literally jumped up in the air and did a downwards slash so I, that has that has to be his downwards combo bro i would assume so you know i feel like that'll be the best fit for it i feel like his auto combo would be something similar to tanjiro's because they have similar breathing styles but as far as like the finisher like you know how when you get done with finishing the auto combo right there's like an end animation i feel like his ending auto combo animation will look something like you know when tanjiro was charging towards giyu he literally bopped this man in the back so i feel like there'll be a good animation at the end of his auto combo and as far as like you know the start of the auto combo it probably would look something like um when he was fighting nezuko like i said it would probably be something like that or something along the lines is like how Tanjiro started off, but a bit different. But definitely like the ending of his auto combo would have to look like when he's punching down Tanjiro in the back. You guys let me know what moves you think he'll have down below um, in the comment section. Do you agree with what I have or do you disagree or do you actually think it, he would have some like different moves aside from what I said? Let me know down below in the comment section. I might do these with other characters as they get announced. Definitely leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel because I will be covering this game as much as I possibly we can and keep you guys up to date on news and content wise with all that being said y'all i'm out gang